Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Novena to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Please all stand as we sing our opening hymn, Immaculate Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son, to redeem us by his death and resurrection, and to give us new life. By this you make us your children, to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity we have seen against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us, repenting sincerely of our sins. We ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Please be seated. <clears throat> Last week, our mother of perpetual health received 1,638 letters of petitions and 1,810 letters of thanksgiving. Among the letters of thanksgiving received, Nine for spiritual favors, one for peace in the home, two for conciliation, 37 for health and recovery from sickness, 24 delivered from all dangers, four for gift of child and safe delivery, two for financial needs, six for education and success in studies, 14 for passing the board exam, four for travel abroad, two for local employment, two for overseas employment, 23 for temporal favors, and 1,680 for unspecified in all the blessings. Here's one letter from one of the devotees. Dear Mama Mary, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga biyayang Natanggap namin, lagi po ninyong ipinagkakaloob lahat ng hilingin namin mag-asawa at ng aming pamilya. Last week po ay galing kaming Australia. Two months po kaming nag-try magka-baby at nitong Wednesday, nagnobina po kaming dalawa ng asawa ko. At ipinagdasal po namin na ready na po kaming magkapamilya after two years na magkasama. At hindi niyo po pinatagal ang paghihintay namin nang mag-test po ako ay positive na po. Thank you so much, Mama Mary, 
sa palaging pagbibigay sa amin ng aming mga kahilingan at sa mga sunod-sunod na blessings, lalo na sa pagpasa ng bunsukong kapatid sa pagiging engineer. Salamat sa chance na makabisita sa inyong dambana, mahal na ina, nagmamahal at sumasamba, and the letter was signed. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of them, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me. As a, as a testimony to them and the Gentiles, when they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you at that time, for it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Kahapon ay ipinagdiriwang natin ang kapistahan ng ina ng laging saklolo. At nawa sa ating siyam na araw na pagnonovena sa kanya ay ipagkaloob sa atin ang mga kahilingan at ipinagdarasal natin sa buhay. Ngayong araw na ito, magandang paglilayan, meron po kaming kasabihan sa Bicol, kung sisay pa ang makadyos, iyo pa ang nagtitiyos. Sa Tagalog, kung sino pa yung makadyos or malapit sa Diyos, ay siya pang nakakaranas ng paghihirap. Totoo po ba iyon? Try to reflect our life. Minsan kahit gaano tayo kalapit sa Panginoon, kahit ang dami na nating ginagawang pagdarasal, pero tila mas madami pa rin ang pagsubok na dumaraan, parang mas malalim pa ang paghihirap na dumaraan sa ating buhay, o kaya parang mas dumarami ang problema. At yan din ang gustong sabihin sa atin ng Ibanghelyo ngayon. Makakaranas tayo ng pag-uusig, Tatalikuran ng sariling pamilya, kukutsain, kamumuhian ng iba, at ipapapatay, o di naman kaya ay maghihirap. Is this the price of being a disciples of Jesus? Kailangan ba talagang maghirap kapag naging alagad ng Panginoon? Kailangan ba talagang dumanas ng pagsubok kapag sumusunod sa Kanya? Tunay nga na hindi mawawala ng paghihirap ang buhay natin. We cannot escape life's suffering And in following Christ too, we will suffer. Pero sa gitna ng paghihirap na mayroon tayo, kaya ba nating maging tapat at magpatuloy na maglingkod sa Kanya? Sana sa ating pananampalataya, sa ating pagsusumikap na maging alagad, hindi tayo sumuko. Sana mas lalong lumalim pa ang ating pagtitiwala sa Kanya na sa gitna ng hirap, na sa gitna ng pagsubok, ay pupunuin tayo ng biyaya ng Diyos. Pupunuin tayo ng kanyang lakas. Hindi mawawala ang mga paghihirap at pagsubok sa buhay. Pero tatandaan natin na hindi rin mawawalan ng grasya at lakas na nagmumula sa Panginoon. Ang manatiling tapat hanggang wakas ay siyang maliligtas. Life may be difficult sometimes or life may be full of uncertainty but we must remember that our faith in Christ bear fruit if we persevere, if we endure to the end, ang lahat ng ating mga pinagdaraanan sa buhay na ito ay magkakaroon ng bunga kung tayo ay mananatiling tapat at patuloy na magtitiwala sa Kanya. At sa tulong ng ating mahal na ina ng laging saklolo, patuloy na watayong ilapit sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Ina ng laging saklolo, panalangin mo kami.
Please all stand and let us sing Mary Immaculate, Star of the Morning. Novena Prayer Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave it to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that anyone who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share His resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, Walk in solidarity with the oppressed. Teach justice to the oppressors 
and bring back to God all those who offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of maternal protection and confidently hope for a compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the Home Mother of Perpetual Help, we choose you as Queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves His Church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers to your loving care. We especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like our own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire human family. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Health, Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Health, Pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for all people. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. For us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be a true Christian by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of these world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with the increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care for and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for that us. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life 
from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may promote the equality of men and women. Loving Mother, pray for us that there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. All together, please. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Amen. Please all stand and let us sing Mother of Christ.
thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual health. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially through the novena inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in His love to the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Let us silently pray for our sick brothers and sisters. All together, please. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sake. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Let us raise our hearts to proclaim our faith as the Lord for us has Them bread from heaven, the source of all happiness. Let us pray, Lord God, by the Paschal mystery of the death and resurrection of your only Son, you accomplish the work of our redemption. Full of trust, we proclaim that Paschal mystery in the sacramental signs of the Eucharist. Help us to see ever going in us the fruits of your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
the divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy, Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. So Blessed is the fruit of your 